and be useful as a facilitator of negotiations, but no one should be telling Israel that it must be, and, and really, that it must abide by some agreement made by others thousands of miles away that don't even really know what's happening to Israel, to anything in the area. It's so preposterous. We're not going to let that happen. When I'm president, believe me, I will veto any attempt by the UN to impose its will on the Jewish state. It will be vetoed 100 percent. You see, I know about deal-making. That's what I do. I wrote the art of the deal. One of the best-selling all-time, and I mean seriously, I'm saying one of because I'll be criticized as I say the, so I'm going to be very diplomatic. One of, I'll be criticized. I think it is number one, but why take a chance? One of the all-time best-selling books about deals and deal-making. To make a great deal, you need two willing participants. We know Israel is willing to deal. Israel has been trying. That's right. Israel has been trying to sit down at the negotiating table without preconditions for years. You had Camp David in 2000, where Prime Minister Barack made an incredible offer, maybe even too generous. Arafat rejected it. In 2008, Prime Minister Omert made an equally generous offer. The Palestinian Authority rejected it also. Then John Kerry tried to come up with a framework, and Abbas didn't even respond, not even to the Secretary of State of the United States of America. They didn't even respond. When I become president, the days of treating Israel like a second-class citizen will end on day one. Thank you.